I bought my daughter a fridge for her birthday. I can't wait to see her face light up when she opens it. <laughs> Don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the BenQ W1800i projector. We're going to see what it's like, how it performs, picture quality and that sort of stuff. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so what I will say is I'm not going to be going too deep into the specs. I'm no pro projector user or anything like that. I'm literally doing reviews from a user's perspective. So would I be happy paying for something like this? So there's plenty of other videos out there and web posts you can go and check out for the specs and things. But this is more opinion based. And I want to thank BenQ for sending this projector out to review. If you are interested at in looking at it, I will leave links in the description down below. Although they did send it out free of charge, don't think that's going to affect my opinion of it. If it's bad, I'm going to tell you it's bad. Right, so first of all, let's take a look at what we're getting inside the box. In the top, we've got a streaming device, which surprised me. I didn't expect that. We've got the plug, obviously. And then we've got a start guide we've got some batteries for the remote and the remote is better than i expected a lot of companies usually skimp out when it comes to this sort of stuff but it's really good it feels premium the only downfall is it's not backlit and when you're using a projector in a dark room a backlit remote would come in handy the projector itself it looks like many projectors i've received before there's nothing really special about it you can see on the front we've got the lamp and a bit of ventilation at the edge on the back of the projector we've got a usb port audio input an rs232 port i think it's called two hdmi ports and the power and then we've also got a case in there with a screw on the top now if i quickly whip this screw out and then we slide off that case casing you're going to see there's a power cable and there's actually a hdmi port in there as well where that streaming device will go and be hidden i like that about it on the bottom of the projector we've got some adjustable feet i like that and then we've also got some screw threads on there for your mounting brackets on the top of it we've got some physical buttons so the power navigation input menu and things like that and then we've got the streaming device itself it's a streaming stick like we see from a fire stick plugged straight into the hdmi and then we also use that power cable that comes inside the casing once it's plugged in we can slide the case back on and then we're good to go and it will boot up straight to that and then on either side of the projector we've got more ventilation or some of it maybe for the speaker and then also on the top of it we've got some physical sliders or wheels once for zoom and once for focus so when starting the projector up at first it's going to ask you how you've got it sat is it sat normally is it upside down and things then it's going to ask you to set the keystone, meaning you can change the angle of which the projector looks. And then once it boots up, you can see this is the streaming device from BenQ, and it's running Android TV, and also the older interface, which many prefer. One thing worth noting as well is with a lot of official Android TV devices, this doesn't support Netflix in full resolution. You would have to sideload it and you would get limited quality like 480p, which is dog shit. Something I will mention as well is my camera, it didn't do a great job of recording it. A lot of this I had to record on my mobile because it actually looked better. But if you do see any lines going up the projector screen or anything like that, it's not the projector itself, it's actually the camera that were dog shit. So if you take a quick look at this, you can see the screen size is getting smaller and bigger, and that's using the zoom scroll wheel at the top. And then also we've got the focus wheel and we can adjust that and obviously it'll adjust the focus, go blurry and then clear. I did measure the screen and at full size, I got around 93 inches and then I put the zoom to the lowest and the smallest it got to was 71 inch and this was just under two and a half meters away from the wall and if we take a quick look at me stood next to it i'm six foot two and you can see that screen's massive next to me and i don't know what i were doing there i just look like a bit of a bell end <laughs> so now i just want to quickly talk about the picture quality now I don't know if the camera is going to do this any justice, but I was very, very surprised with it. It was, well, it is absolutely awesome. It's just so clear, so crisp, and it does, it takes quite a lot to surprise me. I'm always looking for the negatives, but this were brilliant. And I've tried numerous different projectors previously from Xiaomi, from Vankyo, 
the Chinese ones, Banggood. And a few of those have surprised me when I first launched them, but this one, it beats them in picture quality by a mile. I started up this 4K video on YouTube, and once again, you wouldn't notice that it wasn't on a TV if I drew a TV bezel round it. And I'm like, look at this. I was even shouting the wife saying, have you seen the quality of this picture? It really is that good. Now, when it comes to sound quality, I did test this with one of my videos watching it on YouTube, and I'm gonna let you listen to that now. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And let's crack on. Right, so I'm going to make this video as fast as possible. I know each person will have a different opinion of Roku devices. And I've got to say, the speaker is a letdown. It's, it's very tinny, there's not much bass to it. Sounded a bit crackly at times, and, and when it's at full volume... It just wasn't great. But when it comes back to picture quality, where I was surprised the most is I was watching The Simpsons and I thought it's colourful, the sharp edges on it and things, and I put it on and it looks absolutely awesome. I just can't believe the picture quality is this good. But then again, this is the first time I've tested a projector of this quality. So obviously I'm testing that in a dark environment. So I've tried it when I was switching the light on and off. When I was using my normal living room light, you can see it's like a warm yellow. And it wasn't really fading the picture colours of picture quality that much. And then what I did try is one of these studio lights I've got when I'm recording. These are like a cool colour, so the, the white... And you can see that does fade quite a lot more. It is still watchable, but you can see it does fade. And then if you want to take a quick look at the menu, you can see you've got picture mode, sound mode, your light source mode, changing the keystone, a fast mode, and so on. Something else I did try, I tried plugging in the PS4, just playing FIFA because I was wondering if there were going to be any latency or input lag. And I've got to say, there were none. I didn't notice any. I could play it absolutely fine. And that were a rate goal from Fernandez, that weren't it? <laughs> I were going to try some higher FPS games like Warzone, but they had updates, so I couldn't be bothered to wait, I'll be honest. So that's the projector, that's the picture quality, how it performs and the sound and things. But when it comes to the price, it's just over a thousand pound now personally i'd find it hard to part with that much money and if you're somebody who's just looking for a projector to use a few times a year then that's really going to be out of most people's budget but if you are looking to set up a cinema room or you're going to use it quite a lot then i've got to say i would definitely consider this i've had the luxury like i said of testing numerous different cheaper projectors and i thought that was as good as it got but after testing this one, I'm actually going to use this one personally because I'm going to have some awesome movie nights on it. That's why. <laughs> but like I said, it's going to be out of a lot of people's budget. But let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. Is a projector in general something you'd use? I've got a few others to review, some of them being under £100. And also let me know a rough budget you'd spend on a projector if you wanted one. Right, so that's just my opinion of it. The only negative really that I did find was the speaker i wish there were more negatives to tell you but i was seriously impressed right so that being said i hope you enjoy the rest of your day don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you soon Ta -da.